Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick video on this steel um, blower. I've had it a couple years and it's just not running right. I, I just put gas in them. I typically don't do a whole lot of maintenance to them. Um, but I'm going to see what I can do to fix this. It's just really bogging down. It doesn't get the full speed. Okay, so I've got it started and it idles. When I go to full speed, it's just really, really bogging down. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to clean the air filter. I have cleaned the air filter before, but I really haven't done anything other than that. Okay, so the air filter comes off. Just pull it out. Like I said, we'll probably replace that. Okay, so we're going to take this outside orange cover off. You've got to have a T25 bit. It's this star bit for these special screws. Okay, with those three screws out, this thing should, it just slides off. Okay. So I'll probably take a look at the spark plug, maybe. And maybe just clean this area here. But I'm really not sure. I did dump the gas out. I know there might be a little filter inside there that I gotta look at. really can't see what's going on in there, but I'll take a look inside there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, this I, uh, closer inspection, this, this area is just really dirty. This is the carburetor, and I'm going to take some carb cleaner and just clean this whole area really well. Okay, so I'm going to spray this, and I've got an old toothbrush. Okay, so now I'm going to go after the spark plug. This boot just pulls off. It's a little tight, but you just pull it straight up. Okay, so it takes a 16 millimeter. Okay, so the spark plug looks surprisingly well. I'm still gonna clean it. I was hoping it would be bad, but I still, I'm still probably gonna replace it in the filter. Okay, so I used a wire brush. I'm gonna reuse it for now, but uh, just to see if I've got it fixed. Okay, so you gotta kind of shake your gas tank. If there is a filter down there, you gotta get a pair of needle nose and reach up and grab it. Okay, so once you use like a hook or something, you can you can grab that uh, filter and it just pulls off and you need to replace it with a new one. Okay, so when you pull that filter off, that black hose wants to suck down in that gas tank and can be hard to get back out again. So I recommend having somebody hold the black hose while you change out the filter. Okay, so the manual talks a lot about the muffler being clogged up. I'm going to, there, there's two of those uh, star screws down in that muffler, those two holes right there. Okay, so I've got my muffler off. I don't see any obvious signs. Um, I'm going to look down in there and maybe take that off and see if there's anything going on. Okay, so you know what? I almost didn't take this piece off, but I'm glad I did. I think I found the problem. So I had to put, I had to put this in a vise. You don't want to uh, smash it or anything, but that just keeps it from turning. But then you, you got to use a socket, and I used that 16 millimeter, that one I used before. And this has got like a filth screen on it. And uh, it's really clogged. So I bet that you can get a new one of these. But I'm going to clean mine and see if that helps. But uh, eventually I may need to get a new one of these. Okay, so this has got quite a bit of car carbon buildup on it. I was able to clean mine with a wire brush and some carb cleaner. It's still got a little more on there I'm going to do. But it might be worth just replacing this. But you can clean it. And I think this is going to fix the problem. Okay, there's nothing really to this. I'm going to put it back in. Okay, I'm going to start reassembling everything. I put the muffler back on. You don't even have to take that muffler off. That's a little tricky to take off. That's the, that's a, I think it's a spark arrestor. So, and it just gets really coated with carbon. I think that was my only problem. Okay, so it fired right up and it goes full speed now. So, I really probably didn't need to do that other stuff, and it's just this spark arrester. You can get to it without taking any extra panels off or anything. So, I recommend change or uh, cleaning that spark arrester every so often. So again, this is just a dad. I want to thank you for watching, and if you could please like and subscribe.